Ha! Welcome to the Shirley Chef Show. I'm the Chef Heavy Duty. All right, today we're gonna to be making barbecue from scratch. I'm making a little barbecue chicken. Gonna be sauteing up some green beans. Hero coverts are what they call in culinary terms. So let me get my gloves on first. You know, it's always gloves or no love. All right, now I'm gonna basically show you how to cut up a couple of little hero coverts here. All you're basically doing is just taking off the stem end of it. Very delicious, nice, nutritional for you. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna be cutting off the stem in there. Then you flip to the other side, make them uniform. You're gonna be just cutting off those ends right there, okay? All right. Now, we're about to start the homemade barbecue sauce. Proceed with me. All right, you wanna have your saucepan on medium heat. Gonna start with a cup and a fourth of ketchup. All right, right in there. Also wanna do a little molasses. It's a fourth of a cup. Or you can use syrup, whatever makes you feel good. Also gonna do a fourth of a cup of honey. All right. And then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of the Chef Heavy Duty blend. But if you don't have that, you obviously you can use garlic powder, onion powder, a little brown sugar, and also some um, salt and pepper. Sprinkle a little bit of that. Just gonna do like maybe a tablespoon, not too much. And we're also gonna put a tablespoon of horse to shine there. Get that going. All right. And now you're just gonna basically just stir it up a little bit and it's gonna come to a boil. And once it comes to a boil, you're gonna shut it off and it's gonna simmer for 20 minutes. Okay, so we'll get that stirring. All right. That's ready to go. Meanwhile, while that's cooking up, we're gonna start on our hair coverts. Okay, I'm gonna give me a little extra virgin olive oil. Pour that in the pan. All right, I'm gonna add my hair coverts on into there. All right, I'm gonna turn up the temperature so that it can cook. Once that gets to saute, we're gonna add the other two ingredients, which is the almonds, the slivered almonds, and we also have some nice dried cranberries. Very delicious, sweet, add a nice little flavor to the green beans. Okay, in the meantime, while these things are going on, I'm going to start with the chicken. So I'm going to grab my chicken from the fridge. I got a two thighs and a leg, two legs. Skinless chicken, you know you got to be healthy with it. The skin is nothing but just extra fat. There's no need for it. Alright, so I'm going to do my basic blend, my little marinating blend for the uh, chicken. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take maybe like three tablespoons of olive oil and then you're gonna mix in your seasonings. You can use garlic, garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, cayenne, and then you're just gonna put a bunch of it in there. Maybe like a cup full. So you get this type of consistency with the, you want this type of consistency, right? Just like that, you wanna look just like that. Cause it's basically just gonna coat the chicken. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna coat the chicken in it, see? Just like that. All right. I'm gonna coat all the pieces, nice and good. Perfect, just the right amount of seasoning. The seasoning, the Chef Heavy Duty seasoning will be available very soon. I don't put a lot of salt in this, so you can definitely put as much as you want on your proteins, your, your vegetables, whatever you're cooking. Awesome flavor, okay? So basically what you're gonna do with the chicken, you're gonna put it in the oven and you're gonna cook it on 350 for 40 minutes or until it reaches a temp of 165. 
And that's basically what you use. You grab yourself, get yourself a thermometer if you don't have one, and tip the chicken, make sure it's cooked. All right, gonna put that to the side for now. All right, I have my hair coverts going off right here. They're cooking. Let those saute up real nice. Want to get like a nice little coating, nice little brown coating on them. So they have a nice little crisp and bite to them. You don't want to overcook them because they come out mushy. You don't want that. Okay. Add me a little seasoning. Chef Heavy Duty Blend. All right. Check on the barbecue sauce. Hasn't come to a boil yet. But it's mixing up very nice. I see it's coming there soon, so. All right, the green beans are sauteing now. Perfect, see that's exactly the type of color you wanna look for right there. See that nice little brown end on it? We're gonna let that keep sauteing up. In the meantime, I'm gonna check on my barbecue sauce. It has come to a boil, so right now, basically what you wanna do is Drop the temp on that, so it's nice little simmer. Okay, I'm gonna let that ride. All right, and now with the hair coverts, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put in a fourth of a cup of the almonds and a fourth of a cup also of the cranberries. And you're just gonna let that saute up together. Make sure you let the almonds toast so it gets that nice flavor to it. It wanna be like a little brownish. So it has a nice flavor to it, nice little crunch bite to it, okay? In the meantime, while that's going on, I'm gonna pop my chicken in the oven. I have my oven already preheated at 350. I take my chicken already seasoned. I'm just gonna place it carefully on a cooking rack. This is like a roasting rack, it's better because it helps the chicken cook all around instead of just the bottom. The bottom might not necessarily get cooked if you put it just directly on the tray. By putting it on one of these cooking racks, it cooks the whole chicken. Everything gets cooked at the same time. So you want to put your chicken on there. All right. So now you're going to take your chicken, pop it in the oven. I already have my oven preset at 350 degrees. Just going to close that and I'm going to set the timer for 45 minutes and then allow it to cook. All right, my hero coverts, they're done. What you wanna do is turn it off the heat and just let it sit and chill, it's nice and cool. My barbecue sauce is already simmered for 20 minutes. I already took the liberty of making chicken ahead of time, so I'm gonna baste the chicken with the barbecue sauce and we're gonna get the finished product. Just want to base your chicken, put a little barbecue sauce on it. You can put as much as you like, be generous with it or light, depending on however you feel it. All right, so I'm just going to close that back up. Please use oven mitts, don't be like me. You know, I have chef hands, so I've been burnt numerous times in the kitchen, so it's no big deal to me, but use chef glove, use mittens, safety first. All right, now I'm going to show you how to plate up everything. I'm going to turn my sauce off, turn everything off. Nice clean area. Alright. Put my green beans. You don't have to do it any particular way. You know, whatever tickles your fancy. And personally, I like it like this. Get all the loads on there. I'm gonna add all that cranberry goodness. And almonds. Beautiful. Mm, smells so good. If you were in the kitchen right now with me, I mean, it smells delicious. Delicious. Like I said, please use gloves. Don't be like me. You don't want to burn yourself. Alrighty. Beautiful barbecue chicken. Just going to take the thigh first. Place it like so. And then take the leg. Gonna place it there. Dry parsley. All right, my favorite part, taste. Hmm. Delicious. 
Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. It's your boy Heavy Duty signing off. Peace. Not today.